Hello, everybody. I'm Michelle, your host for City Beat. We're your television guide to arts and entertainment in Shanghai. Now, today we have a great show ahead of us, so let's get started with today's top headlines. This week on City Beat, the best of recent British animation arrives in Shanghai for your viewing pleasure. Take a seat in style as we pay a visit to one of Hong Kong's top furniture designers. See his latest creation. And find out how modern technology has made advancement in hair care. All this plus lifestyle beat coming right up. From the silver screen to your television sets, animation has always been a popular form of entertainment. And now, for cartoon lovers in Shanghai, they have a reason to be doubly excited. Because one, there's an exhibit that features the winners of the British Animation Awards. And two, there's a festival dedicated for animation collectors. Let's go take a look. Really heated up for local animation fans with a recent cartoon carnival. Video clips, books, and toys filled the Shanghai Exhibition Center along with cosplayers, fans who dress up like their favorite cartoon characters. While collectors were having the time of their lives here, shopping for rare toys and such, across town a different type of animation event was happening. At the Dolan Museum of Modern Art, cartoon fans were gathered for a special screening of recent winners of the British Animation Awards. It's, it's throwing in new ideas, new animations, so certainly new techniques which you don't see in, in Japanese animation, which is, uh, on the whole, it's very staid, very, very similar. The British Animation Awards cover a large spectrum of the UK animation scene, from student work to commercials, from children's entertainment to experimental art films, from new animation technology to music videos. The work shows just how broad and encompassing animation can be. Yet, every work shares something that sets them apart from typical Disney cartoons or Japanese anime, which involve huge budgets and grand productions. Japan has an absolutely extraordinarily successful feature film industry uh, and also produces TV series. What, we're, what we were looking at today in particular was the kind of traditional short what we call art films, films which are very much the personal expression of artists. For example, the latest Japanese animation hit, Steam Boy, is a huge film that took nine years and cost 20 million US dollars to produce. But when considering animation as an art, creativity, not profit, is what really matters. This is why many animation works produced in Shanghai back in the 1970s are now considered part of the world's art animation cinema. They have a unique China style. Hey! What China is known for internationally are the quite extraordinary ink and wash painted films that came out of the Shanghai studio in the 70s and 80s. They made an enormous impact all around the world and for a lot of people in kind of animation we've been waiting a long time to see what, what else and what's new that's going to come out of China. This originality is also what many animation fans in China are expecting. Currently, there are several cartoon studios in Shanghai that are focusing on creating animation with this Chinese style. For the cartoonists, the arrival of these award-winning British pieces was much appreciated. In the market, it's very 
我们都看不到的，普通观众更是看不到的。在这些作品里，我们往往能看到一些具有艺术气质、艺术氛围的这样的一个片子。China's movie-going audience likes cartoons from Japan and the U.S., but that doesn't mean they've forgotten their own classics. As more attention is being drawn to domestic animation, the legend of Chinese cartoons should continue to flourish and grow in the near future. Coming up on this week's lifestyle beat, find out where you can dine on gourmet French food while surrounded by priceless Chinese antiques. Shanghai for you on City Beat.